We're going to try this calorie burning routine targeted at your hips, thighs, and butt. All our favorite spots, right, Jasana? Absolutely. Okay, so let's get going. We're just going to start at the front of our mat here. And just gently go ahead and reach your left leg all the way back behind you to a long lunge here. And if you're feeling like you're on a tightrope here and it's kind of tricky to balance, you can move your left foot over a little bit to the left so you have nice square hips here. And just breathe here for a couple breaths. And then once you feel stable here, you're just going to reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Nice, relaxed shoulders. Put a little bit of weight into that back foot. And we're just going to breathe here for five really long, deep breaths. Try also to use your breath to keep the pose moving. Have it not be static and you're just, oh my gosh, I'm waiting till it's over. Use the breath to have little tiny movements and adjustments, just like when you're driving a car. And then we're just going to inhale and exhale all the way straight, just lifting up right from the hips. And just go ahead and breathe out all the way down. And you're going to do this 10 times by yourself at home. I'm watching. All the way up and down, just nice and easy. And just think of your hips as an elevator shaft here, so you're not kind of going all over the place. Just really steady and calmly right up and down here. And then after you've done your 10, you're just going to go ahead and bring your left hand to the outside of your front leg here. And you're just going to slide your hand all the way down, either to the floor or Jusana has a block there. Just show you guys that if you can't quite reach the floor. You want to do all these moves in your comfort level. You don't want to get to a place where you can't breathe easily. So it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you're breathing easily here. And if this is totally boring you and you want an extra challenge, you can always bind this pose by dropping your back arm down and your other arm underneath, just lifting out. Make sure you lift off that leg and just breathing here. And then just gently go ahead and stretch your front leg all the way straight wherever you are. It's a challenge if you're in the bind. And just go ahead and re-bend it right back down, nice and easy. And then we're just going to come into a downward dog. And you're going to do the other side. And we're going to do the next move all the way back here. Just reaching into your heels. And just gently going to reach your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Just nice square hips here. Foot pointing down, really reaching through a long straight leg. And then just go ahead and open it all the way up to the side. Just pointing your toes forward to the front of the room. Try not to buckle on that left elbow like this. Try to really stretch it out nice and straight, reaching in all directions. A couple of breaths here, and then just go ahead and bring it all the way up and around. Try not to dip the leg. Try to keep it nice and high. And then you're just going to do that five times at home on each side. Nice, long, deep breaths here. And then just all the way back. And then you just go ahead and bring it down. Make sure to try the other side. And then after you've done that, go ahead and just bend your knees gently. You've earned a child's pose, so just go ahead and reach all the way back, letting your forehead rest down and just breathe into your back here. And then just gently roll all the way up. So you can try those poses on your own. You can either work them into your routine or you can try them by yourselves. Try twice a week to start and um, see how you're feeling from there.